Good morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Ryan Mellon, staff writer here at Lancaster Newspapers. Joining me is Eric Hurst, director of the Weather Center at Millersville University. So Eric, uh, this will be the third storm the county is going to be seeing with measurable snow within one week. Uh, what can we expect from this storm? Yeah, yeah, very active pattern here for early winter and uh, you know the atmosphere gets like this sometimes. Uh, last year it was the week between Christmas and New Year's where there were three storms and uh, then it was quiet for a month. So uh, first of all, just because it's storming now doesn't mean it's going to stay this way the rest of the winter. But uh, in any case, the upcoming storm uh, light will develop here in the Lancaster area during the morning hours on Saturday. It'll be probably pretty unimpressive to start. Perhaps a coating to an inch falls by lunchtime. So uh, traveling during the morning hours, though slippery, won't be impossible. It's during the afternoon and evening hours that the storm will intensify and the rate of uh, snowfall will pick up. There could be a few hours late afternoon, early evening, where it comes down at an inch or more an hour, and uh, that's when it can really pile up quickly during the afternoon and evening. And uh, right now, I'm making three to six inches in Lancaster. Uh, there is going to be a changeover to sleet and freezing rain heading into the overnight hours. That'll prevent a real big snowfall here, uh, but it you know, also complicates things in terms of adding uh, some sleet and ice to the to the mix on the roadways during the evening hours. Uh, the storm will be all said and done by daybreak Sunday, so things will improve rapidly uh, with sunshine on Sunday. Okay, so we saw a quick moving storm Tuesday. It was in about 6 a.m. and it lasted for about six hours, so we can expect right. this one to come in through the morning and last uh, through the evening hours yeah. when we go to sleep. Um, so for the Christmas shoppers and folks who are planning on maybe getting their tree tomorrow, um, they should probably plan on doing that in the morning hours? Yeah, the morning would be a good time. Uh, again, just some flurries and light snow coming in any time between 7 a.m. and 9 or 10 a.m. Heading into the noon, uh, midday hours, I would expect it to start to get slippery uh, maybe an inch or so by lunchtime, but then it really picks up during the afternoon. Um, and, uh, you know, I think if you're heading out and about, uh, you know, late afternoon and evening, it could be treacherous travel with uh, snow on the roads. When it's coming down at an inch or more an hour, uh, despite PennDOT having their full crew out there, they can't keep up with it. That's just the, how it is with heavy snow. So it sounds like it could be a good Saturday night movie time for fans. Yeah, you bet. All right. Uh, so uh, you said in terms of expecting the snow, three to six inches, uh, is there a difference between different parts of the counties, northern, southern parts? Yeah, the northern area uh, could stay snow a little longer and therefore get a little more. So maybe the th maybe near the Maryland border is more likely to be the three-inch end of things, down towards Quarryville and, and Delta and such. Uh, and then uh, maybe Lancaster City is more you know, four or five inches, and then perhaps five, six inches as you get up uh, towards the Furnace Hills of North, in northern Lancaster County. But I'll tell you, this is a tricky storm for a couple of reasons. Not only is there a changeover to deal with, and that always complicates things because changes over sooner, that means less snow. Um, but uh, this is actually a split low. There's going to be one low that tracks up to our west towards the Great Lakes, another low that's going to be developing along the coast tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow night. Those type of split storms uh, are very, very tricky because uh, that, uh, you know, transition, how quick the coastal low takes over from the low going to the west, really uh, dictates uh, precipitation intensities and also the temperature profiles of the atmosphere and the changeover. So let's say that coastal low starts more quickly tomorrow afternoon. We could get all snow here. Uh, now, I don't think that's likely maybe a 20% chance we get all snow, but if we, we did get all snow, we'd be looking at seven, eight, nine inches from this storm. Uh, but again, that's not the official forecast. Okay, so it sounded like some snow and then changing over to sleet and freezing yeah. rain as the temperatures are getting back up to the freezing mark. Right. right, right. Um, how about this frigid air that we've been experiencing this week uh, with the Arctic front that moved in earlier? Um, right. How could that affect this storm and how could it impact right. the travels around the county? Right. Well, you know, certainly the roads and uh, and such are going to be very, very cold heading into the storm. You know, yesterday we only got up to 26 degrees. Today we're going to get up to around 32 degrees uh, and then drop back into the 20s tonight ahead of the storm. So plenty of cold, dry air ahead of the storm. Uh, you know, sometimes we are uncertain whether a storm will even start as snow. Well, this one definitely starts as snow uh, and, a, and an extended period of snow at that. Um, so it will accumulate from the get-go. 
Okay. And you've spoken a little bit about the roller coaster that we can expect this winter of high temperatures to low temperatures and back and forth. Um, you know, with this with this one being in the lower temperatures now, um, you know, what can we expect after this period is over? Yeah. Well, there's still no blocking downstream of us. If you really want to lock cold air in here for an extended stay, what we've seen historically is you get a big jet stream ridge over Greenland that just locks the cold air in over eastern North America. And there is no blocking ridge. So although it's been cold here for several days and it's going to be cold into early next week, uh, the cold air is going to run its course. And believe it or not, by next week at this time, say next Friday, next Saturday, temperatures could be up near 50 degrees for a couple of days. Wow. Yeah. Uh, that sounds much more favorable than the, the temperatures we've been experiencing. Um, yeah, but I should, I should add that the upstream indicators, when you look back over... Uh, say Alaska and northward towards the North Pole, there's still a favorable setup there to keep pushing Arctic air southward toward the United States. So while we warm up here the end of next week for a few days, the Arctic air will actually drop into the Rockies in the western United States. And once it's in there, it can build back east. So um, heading into Christmas week, I do think there will be a return of cooler air. Okay, I was just about to ask you about Christmas week. Yeah. Obviously, you, you know uh, we're looking at some 50 degrees uh, heading into the next weekend, and just around the corner then is, is Christmas. Uh, do you have a better idea of what will be happening Christmas Eve, Christmas Day kind of? Yeah, well, it's, it's still too long, uh, too far out for details. But uh, again, I think the warm spell is kind of Friday, Saturday, maybe into to Sunday, um, and then I would expect a cold front coming through late in the weekend, maybe Sunday afternoon, Sunday night, so that head in to the days preceding uh, Christmas, uh, it will be turning colder again. And, you know, that, of course, opens the door to could there be another snow event. But it's just to, to put my fingers on a disturbance and say that it could give us snow, you know, on December 24th and 25th, that's impossible here on the 13th. Of okay. December. Uh, we can talk next week about that, and perhaps I, I can uh, take a shot at it. Great. Um, so you mentioned uh, the freezing rain uh, stepping in at some point here. How about for the kids and maybe some adventurous parents? Uh, do we know what kind of snow we can expect? Will it be prime for skiing, snowboarding, or maybe even snowman building? Yeah, it should be pretty good. Probably pretty similar to the last storm where uh, um, maybe it starts off on the drier side uh, initially on Saturday and then becomes more moist and of course once you start getting sleet and freezing rain you know that makes it all slushy so I suppose by Sunday uh, it could be kind of more of a heavier wet snow to be out recreating in uh, especially with the sun being out and actually Sunday, temp Sunday afternoon temperatures will get into the mid to upper 30s so there will be a little bit of a thaw which is good for cleaning up the snow um, so, uh, yeah, I mean, initially Saturday it'll be pretty nice snow, and then it will turn kind of heavier, more like mashed potatoes, I guess, by Sunday. Mashed potatoes and snowmen. Sounds good. Okay, Eric, thanks again for joining us this morning, everyone. And as always, Eric, thanks for your time. You're welcome.